The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I'm going to show you a sample of the charts that we were looking at back in 1987 and also uh, recently here. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to show you the top of the market in September the 3rd of 1929. 55 days later, the market crashed on October the 29th. You'll notice here on August the 25th of 1987, that was harmonic convergence. That's when we had five planets in the sign of uh, cancer. Yeah, cancer. And uh, the, oh, just so many things happening. It was called harmonic convergence. It was supposed to be the end of the Mayan calendar, which it wasn't. But the market broke. And then it rallied, uh, it broke down into, August, went in, into August, the excuse me, into September the 27th. It rallied up to October the 2nd. Uh, and then from October 2nd, it, uh, it dropped a great deal. Now, if you'll look at the chart there of 19, uh, 1987, you'll see that October low, right? This is the October high right there. It was making a Gartley at that point. I hope you can see it. I'm not sure you can, but I'm hoping. Anyway, that's what happened. Let me explain to you what was going on in my life at that time. I was uh, up in, I was li living in Pismo Beach. I had just moved up to the trading room. I was on TFNN, excuse me, Financial News Network down in Los Angeles. Uh, uh, once every two weeks, we would drive down and I'd do a one-hour show with Sue Herrera, Ron and Sana, and Bill Griffith. Uh, very good friends that we've been friends for for many many years especially during those times in california byron would come out and visit and you know so everybody came out to visit but anyway we had a lot of fun anyway on that october 2nd i took eight thousand dollars and i bought puts uh in the s p 500 remember it was trading at 500 dollars a point not a, not uh 50 dollars a point so what in the world is going on here can you sorry folks there's a tiny emergency here ah doc on it i'm by myself so hold on sorry Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I'm sorry about the, the emergency that came up, but the UPS guy was going wacko. Uh, someone just sent me a case of champagne and something else, another big box. I don't know what they are, but uh, I don't, uh, they're probably bombs. Who knows? Oops, that's not a good word to say. Anyway, let's go back to here's where we were in August of uh, 1925. We had the top. Then we had on that October 2nd, we had a Venus Uranus aspect. It was uh, market was exactly at the 61% retracement in here. And on the 2nd, which was a Tuesday, on the 2nd of October, I bought 20, I put $8,000 into um, S&P puts. I bought uh, I bought uh, October puts. Uh, and they, they were the best that the value that I thought. Uh, and uh, I cashed those out on the 16th of October, which was a Friday. That was the Friday the market closed uh, on its low. The options expired. On that day, October the 16th, the Dow was down 106 points. And remember, the Dow was trading at around 20, 2,400, 2,300 at that point. So, you know, that was a huge move. And it closed right on the low. And they cashed me out right on the low. And I uh, was able to uh, – uh, I had a big, a big, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, a bill from uh, an Eastern school for my daughter's education, and I was able to pay uh, the whole four years uh, with that with that that one trade. And anyway, if I if I had the November options, I could have bought the school. <laughs> well, not quite that bad, but it was a difference of 20 times uh, what. But, you know, on October 20th, the, bot the, bot the bottom was actually October 19th. The crash was on, Octo uh, on October 19th. The bottom came in slightly lower on the 20th, and then we've been rallying ever since. That was the best buying opportunity of the 1980s, folks. It really was that low on October the 20th was an exact 61% retracement of the low from August the 9th of 1982. Okay, so it moved from 82 up to 87, and then from 87, we dropped those uh, 55 trading days, and from there, we never looked back. Uh, I don't. I didn't check to see if that was a 382 of any any market, but by golly, I remember it being the exact 61% retracement of the 1980s. And of course, then we started to go up, and that was uh, the best trade uh, of the day. The reason why I bring it to your attention, folks, is there's a chance here uh, that we could be looking at something quite similar uh, here in our market. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to switch over to the uh, real market here. Just give me one second here. That's not the real market. Let's get the real market over here. That's it right here. We just had an ABCD pattern complete here in the S&P. I just wanted to bring it up here to show you where we were. Okay, here's 
There's where we were. Now, the, the, the number that's really super duper important today, folks, you can see right there is your there's your ABCD pattern right here at 1280. OK, now that equals that last rally that we had here. You see this rally that occurred right there. That should equal that one. And you'll see that's exactly what it did. So there's the big daddy rabbit. We start getting above 1280, uh, 4280. There's a chance uh, we could have a rally all the way up to this level right in here, 4292. But, folks, let me explain something to you uh, on a boys and girls. Let's be honest about this stuff. <laughs> folks, if we close below here, for God's sakes, don't be short. Okay, just don't be short. Look at the daily chart on this, folks. If you want to see something flat out scary, this is it. You close below this, this is what you're going to be looking at. It'll probably happen in three days, that target down here. I got a lot of stuff here, so I'm going to clean it out. Let's just clean it out. But this is where we'll be heading here, right here. If you like ABCD, and you certainly do. We'll be looking at a Dow or S&P down about 170 points here very quickly here. And as you know, we have uh, strong probabilities of October, November bottoms. Uh, this is the anniversary of the 29 crash coming in here next Sunday. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's it. So you got to be, don't be, sh folks, don't be long if you go below this. It shouldn't be long anyway. But if you go below, go below this, there's big trouble in River City. Okay. So that's my two cents. And I'm sticking to it. Okay, the second thing we want to talk about here is the gold market. All right, now I'm a short-term trader and proud of it. Anyway, let's take a look here. You'll see here's where we are. Here's the gold market. We had this big run up here today. We got up to 2010, way above wherever I thought it was going to be. See, I thought yesterday we were going to stop right here. We didn't stop right there, did we? We went above the 61% retracement. We actually took out the high by $1 from uh, July. We took it out by, well, no, not even $1. We took it out by, uh, how much did we take it out by? Oh, we didn't take it out. This high was uh, 2010. This high was uh, 2009. And look what we've done so far. Now, if you go down to the mini micro uh, trading strategy that we look at here, there's the old uh, S uh, dollar, your uh, gold, gold pattern. And we said, you know, after you've had a big top, look for what? Yes, Johnny, I see you got your placard up. Look for the 382 retracement. Now, this is a four-minute chart, so this takes about uh, – 45 minutes for this to complete, about 10 handles or 10 minutes. And then you can see we had a 382 up here at 20 even. We're now trading $12 below. We have another one right here. Let's see if that was also a 382 of the previous one. I don't think that it is, but it might be. Ew, it misses it by uh, misses it by a dollar. So we've had a reversal here on gold. We've already come down, folks. Uh, $21. Now, the harmonic number in gold, without a doubt, is 34 bucks, 32 or 34 I like 34 because, uh, I, I don't know, I've just been watching it for a very long time. So $34, $34 off of this hop takes us to 1075, uh, 2075. Okay, so watch 2075. There's 1982 right there, uh, which is the 1.618 of this whole thing. But 1975 will be the harmonic number coming down in here. So we'll take a 13-minute chart, and we're going to see where we are here. So 1975 is what we want to be looking. We know this is a major low. No question about that. You can see that. And you rally up, and there is there, there's your 382 retracement right here, folks. If gold is any good, and I think that it is, it's not to get any lower than that right here. OK, now we've had something happen here because we are matching the, the rally or the sell off that we had here. You see that sell off we had right there. You add that one to this one. We're right about there right now. So there it is right here. Oh, just a minute. Make sure it's the right one. I think it overshot. Yeah, it did. Just a second. Let me draw them in perfectly. There it is. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Now all I got to do is take this and bring this over. And you'll see we're almost there right now. That's right about there. That means that would be equal to what we had. There's your 382 right in here. We haven't even taken out the low of last of this week yet, but we're really close. So that's what we're watching here uh, in the gold market here today. Okay. Now, next one we want to take a look at is the, the little the, the wicked 
the wicked the wicked stepsister here. Hold on a second here. Get this out of the way. This is the bond market, folks. This bond market has got it's got so much wrong with it that it's that it's unbelievable. I've got it. I've got to. How much time do I have on this? I've got plenty of time. Hold on. I'm going to get something up here from uh, my good friend uh, Mr. Jameson here because he sent me something that I want you to to read. This I know this is my Skype messages, but I don't really care. Hold on one second. Here is Don Jameson right here. Okay, we'll blow this up right now and get this up here. Okay, here, here's what here's what I want to tell you here, folks. Using the real time debt clock, it's thirty three trillion dollars, folks. That's one million sixty four thousand seven hundred and nineteen years. If you were to give them a – you're not even going to believe the statistic here. I think I can get the whole thing up here. What did he give me right here? He gave me the whole thing, and I can't remember it. <laughs> Shut the front door. Yeah. Anyway, if you, if you were to give uh, – with a $33, 000, $33 trillion debt, if you would give someone a million dollars a day, that's a million dollars a day, okay, do you know what would happen to today, to where we are? You're giving him a million dollars a day, okay, from the time that uh, Jesus was born, zero, you know, not 2,010 years. You still would only pay off 2% of the debt. That's how bad this trillion dollars is, folks. This is not a, it's not a good deal. Since that's a fundamental, and I, I kind of screwed it up, but anyway, that's it. Let's see where we are here with the bonds. There's what we've been doing this week, still going down. We've had some rallies. See how close the rallies are. We had a big rally here. What, how much was that? That was about, uh, what do I see? That was about almost a point and a half. This one, exactly point and a half, okay? Let's go back and see if we had another one back here somewhere. So it's moving, it's actually moving a little bit, so that's a good sign. You know, we've held this low right here, which is, uh, you know, we thought it was going to go to 108.03, uh, and we went down to 107.20. Uh, now we've had this little bit of a rally, and that's all it is. The only thing that this has got going for it from the long side, and I mean very little, and I mean any time you get a rally here, you got to get short, folks. This is a this is a disaster that has started. Now we've got a p p potential bottom here because we're down 10 days. We should get a good rally, at least 382. That's what we should at least get a 382. Okay, that's the rally would take us up to 11007. That's two handles from where we are right now. So watch that right now. There's a big problem in the bond market, folks. We've seen it before. We're going to look at it again. Okay, we've been talking about it for a hell of a long time. Okay, we've been borrowing money since. Well, by the time when Jesus was in the crib, just about uh, 2,010 years ago. And the problem is now they're asking for the money back. That's why the bond market is collapsing. People do not want to own bonds. They want to, know, they want to own short-term treasuries because the dollar is moving so, so well. Okay, So this is why. Now we're getting close to a bottom. You see our big target on this was 205.30. The low so far has been uh, 107. So we're we're within a point or two of what we think could be a pretty good bottom, and that pretty good bottom would get a nice rally of about uh, 14, 15 points, which is a lot of money. That's fifteen thousand dollars. So now remember, I don't know fundamentals. I don't want to know fundamentals. All they've ever do is get me in trouble, folks. You see this one three five pattern that we we really hammered that in two thousand and two, saying this is really bad. Okay, going back to here, let's just get this up here because this is what's important. You remember this right here? This is negative interest rates, boys and girls. That's negative interest rates. We were at two percent. Now we're at six uh, percent, I think, in the in the two year. Okay, mortgage rates have gone from three and a half to eight and a half. So and they're going higher. So that's what we're looking at. This is a major, major bear market, and we should be really close to some really good support down in here. We will get a pretty good rally. Maybe that'll even rally stocks. I don't know, but it, but I'll tell you one thing: you do not want to be long stocks if we go below that low we made today in the S and P at uh, forty-two thirty-five. I think was the number that was there. Let's get this up here and take a look at it. The S&P's got a chance. Hold on, let's get this. 
move it up, move it, get it down to that uh, micro mini oscillating, 45 second oscillator, oscillator. Okay, there's what we've had so far. We've had had a rally. We've had several A, B, C, Ds right here. A, B, C, D, and now we've got another one, possible A, B, C, D moving up in here. Now the high that we made on this one off of the high, I believe was exactly 61%. And it misses it by half a point, but that was probably uh, the high right in here. Now, if we start getting up in here, the key number here to watch, folks, you see that little green arrow right there? That's the one you want to watch. Let me show you why. You get to the hourly chart, okay? And guess what that is, boys and girls? Yes, Johnny, we see it, Bubba. It's point three eight two. Going down to Memphis on a midnight ride. Go to take me on to find me a traveling band. John Fogarty, CCR. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we've got a guest on the line here, Peter from Park City, Utah. How are you doing? Hey, Larry, I'm doing great. How are you? That's not good. No, I'm doing good. <laughs> you there? Yes, sir. I can hear you. Okay. Um, I had a question. I was looking at the uh, NASDAQ on a daily. It probably shows up on a weekly as well. But it appeared, I'm trying to work on improving 
like the one three five pattern. And on a daily, it looks like that is daily and weekly that it's kind of set up. And I was wondering your comments. Peter, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We've got Shane Smolian coming on next. And right after Shane is over, I'm going to get into oh, the uh, the show. And I will go through the NASDAQ from daily to weekly. And we're going to find out if it's – because I've it been watching sure the S&P. Like so. And I was like, well, I wanted your feedback. Thanks. I will. I'll be do that right okay. after Shane's done. Thank you so much for calling in, Peter. Yep. No problem. Okay, uh, I think we have the Shane man in the in the house. Shane, are you there? Hello, Larry. Hello, hello. Billy Ray Valentine here, my friend. What's up? One hundred South Broad Street, Duke Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. <laughs> All right. Uh, so it's been it's been a while, Larry. It's been since like September the eighth. I was on. I just looked. I didn't realize it had been that long. So I well, apologize for busy. my absence. You're you're, we we miss you, but you're very busy. We understand. We have a will, question from uh, one of our. I'll try to come back next week if we, you know, we'll we'll do a follow up too next week if if you want if you'll have me on. I'll, I will be in London all next week, but I'll still oh. be doing the show. I'm get I got one of my uh, bucket list things came true. I get to trade with the the big boys over in Europe uh, for five days as a little sort of a contest, and uh, hopefully I'll come back with at least my skin and don't make uh, too much of a fool of myself, which I know I'm not going to do that. Anyway, let's uh, let's uh, talk about the question that someone's asked us here from Wichita, Kansas, and that is, are we getting ready to see a crash like 1987? Do you know the answer to that? I Look, I can tell you what I think based upon what I'm seeing, and, I, and the okay. answer is – I don't think so. Um, I, I now we'll get into that. Uh, okay. You know, I, 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 I'm constantly taking in a, a host of, of factors every day, and one of them being the Federal Reserve, of course, and the Fed juice, uh, the Astro, uh, the solar storms. We just had one today, and so I look at how the market is reacting on a relative mm -hmm. basis to these, and then I kind of go from there. And um, we'll get into that in a second. I had talked about the geomagnetic storms before. And just as a as a quick reminder, this is the month that is the peak right now. So uh, we're we we are hitting a peak here, and so I think if the market was going to crash, guys, it would have crashed already. Uh, I'm I'm turning more bullish at this point. I'm I'm favoring us being into more of a a, a consolidation phase maybe for the next two months, and then I I see 2024 as being higher. Um, this this geomagnetic uh, storm here, this peak. You know, think about it. So we're in October 20th here, and we just got one of our first storms. So we got some in the beginning, but we just got a storm today. Market's a little bit depressed, but it's really responding pretty well if you think about it. Uh, and so, after this month, the, uh, the the solar storm activity starts to taper off, uh, and it get and it drops dramatically into November, December. So, from a geomagnetic perspective, things get a lot better in, in about 10 days. Uh, so, I think there's still some negative astro lingering out there. I still am relatively bearish through through December, but I think I think the worst I think it would have happened to, to answer the question on that uh, if if we got to that point. So uh, this is just the um, the solar storm activity versus the Dow Jones cycle, and we we kind of we're coming into a low here. I mean we're at the end of this October period, uh, getting into November right around Halloween. We hit a low, uh, and that coincides with the decrease in solar storm activity. So. I, I don't want to say for sure, for sure that we're out of the woods, but I'm feeling definitely more bullish, and I definitely don't want to be short on this market right now. So hopefully, that gives an introduction into how I feel about this. Um, and and again, just as just as a reminder here, we do track these solar storms. This is an intraday chart. This was March of 2022, um, and and when these storms come in, they have had big effects on on the S and P. Uh, and, and particularly the Russell. And so this is one of the markets that we had focused on. We had a, a really big short that we closed out. Uh, you remember, Larry, I, I Skyped you at the low yep. when I got out of that. And um, I know I felt like, you know, this market could go lower, you know, at the second half of October. But I think the meat of the, that move was probably that run. Uh, and so each time these storms come, we have to look at how is the market reacting on a relative basis? So is the market really just collapsing when the storm comes like it was back in August of 2022? Or is it resisting what the storm is doing? So right now, this is the chart here of the current year. And so each of these little pink arrows represents a geomagnetic storm. And then I put in here in red the full moon perigees here and here. And then we had a solar eclipse, which is generally pretty positive. The solar eclipses aren't that bad. Uh, we do have a lunar eclipse coming at the end of this month in about a week, so we still have some negative activity coming up. 
But I think all in all, the market has held up pretty well here. I mean, I, we did expect a double dip this month. We talked about that in the newsletter, that the beginning of the month should be low, and then we expected a bounce, and now we're getting the second leg down. You know, the, the, que the question is, is this going to push much lower? Is it just going to kind of hang out here at this higher level into here right now? Uh, and so to me, it's, re it's really kind of irrelevant because I think we should have been, if we were, if we were going to crash like 1987, I think we would have been way lower at this point. Uh, and I think we're coming to an, the end of a lot of the worst Astro right now. And so I, I you know, I don't think it's just going to just take off and run, uh, at a, at a point, but I do think we're in some type of a bottoming phase where I do think the markets could, could just be chopping around here for the next couple of months. And I, and I just think the fact that we're getting this out of the way now with these solar storms is a big deal because that is really a thorn in the side of, of the market, specifically the Russell. And so that's going to get out of our way. And then as we get into the beginning of 2024, uh, there are a series of planetary steliums coming. And I know, Larry, you love these, right? The steliums? Yep, sure do. Um, these are bullish. So steliums are coming in 2024. So... For those of you who are interested in the Astro, this is a very bullish act, very bullish development. It's going to last for a few months at the beginning of 2024. Uh, we'll cover this in the newsletter. But as I'm looking forward, I'm feeling more bullish at this point. Uh, I, I, I just think that if the selling's not over now, it's pretty close. I think the next couple of months, I think, we, like I said, I think we could be wandering around in the consolidation phase. Um, we, we do look at intraday charts here, and I was talking about I look at the Bollinger Band widths because I, I feel very strongly about this. this is a really, really nice pattern to look at. When you get sinking Bollinger Bands like this, you just get choppy markets. You don't really get any moves. You just kind of get a choppiness sideways. And so that's what <coughs> we've been seeing. So I've been talking about these bands approaching these lows. Uh, and so for us to really get a move, if we look at all of these moves that have happened, they've happened after the Bollinger Band hits that low and they start to push back up again. And so the 12 hour is a nice chart because it's twice as fast as the daily, uh, but it gives us a little bit of a heads up. This is one of the ways that I was able to to get out of this trade. This is where we got out of this short trade here. It was 4278 uh, on the S&P. And we also had a, sh a short going on the Russell and the NASDAQ in our auto trade accounts. These are live accounts that we that we we run. Mm -hmm. And they all triggered off of this point because I figured that was the point where the Fed divergence ended. So we were looking at the Fed internals with this big negative divergence and that ended. And so for me, you know, when that ended right there, I felt like a lot of the advantage was out of the short, the short side of this market. Um, you know, we, we still have a market that Shane, just kind of want. Yes, we got to we got to pay a few bills now, my friend. Thanks for being on. We'll have you uh, on again. The next time I you're can, free, I can, just let I me can know. I can go past the break if you need to. I can go on a little bit. Uh, no, it's OK. I, I got to cover a couple of things with Peter from Park City, but I'll, I'll catch you next week. OK, if you're not. OK, busy. thanks, Larry. We'll, we'll see you then. You got it. You better. Okay, bye. bye bye. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Well, folks, you know... I believe in miracles, and we just have one. We got our another caller has called in, Steve from Austin, Texas. Steve, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Larry. How how about yourself? You sound doing better. Good. Let's put it oh, that yes, way. Oh yes, yes. I'm definitely. I'm about sixty percent there. I've never been more than sixty one percent, but I'm at sixty percent right now. So, <laughs> what can I do for you, buddy? I uh, just uh, I wanted to get your thoughts on uh, crude oil. Uh, whether we've whether we're coming into just a consolidation period here, and are we going to be moving up, or are we going to be pulling back, or what are your thoughts? Well, I've got a chart up here of the hourly chart going the last 10 days in crude. You see we've had a pretty big move. We just had a little bit of a $2 pullback here, just stopped exactly at the 382 there at 88.13. And to me, it looks like we're going to go at least $3 higher uh, to about 91 uh, 71. Remember, the old high was 95. So I think we can right. get uh, there's a big ABCD there at 91.75 that I'm watching. But, uh, you know, I know it's very the news seems to be more incredibly bullish than most people think. But the market has really, uh, you know, we've, we've only rallied uh, actually. Well, we actually rallied eight dollars a barrel is what we rallied since the time that they uh, started the bombing over there on the 8th. Now, if you remember back in September of 19, uh, 2019, Saudi Arabia got hit by drones, if you remember, uh, from their good friends uh, at uh, Iran, and that shot uh, uh, the oil up $9 a barrel and when it was trading at $70. So it, it rallied $12 a barrel. When it's trading at seven dollars south after that, I remember oh, that. Went really south, down to forty bucks. Yes. Well, I actually went to minus, yes. minus. But, <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, I'm watching news. Everybody says that if the Straits of Hormuz are blocked, that's going to be uh, into the the gold. Uh, we'll be trading at two hundred dollars in crude. That's not true, because we've got more oil here in the United States than Saudi Arabia does. Unfortunately, the administration put a clamp on it because of uh, you know climate change, which to me is about as equal to uh, negative interest rates. But anyway, that's what I'm looking at. So right what here. you're think, saying, Larry, is that during the winter it's cold, in the spring it gets a little warmer, in the summer it gets hot, and in the fall it gets a little cooler again? Is that see, what you're saying about global no, warming? These, will, you, will you please stop giving my secrets away, Steve? <laughs> Doggone, I tell you one time, and now, I'm, now you shared it with everybody. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 That's I, what I, it gets me about these environmentalists. I mean, it, it, it's an excuse to do something that people don't want to do, I think. Yeah. Well, I watch. You know, they if they just leave us alone and let us do what we're supposed to do and, and have crude oil yeah. the way we're supposed to have it and carbon yeah. – you know, carbon is in this in this world, and we we should use it accordingly. You know. Yeah. Well, my my theory is we've been on this planet for five billion years, is what they suspect, right? You know, that's twelve right. zeros. That's twelve zeros, and they're telling us within two zeros that this end of the world is coming at 2050. 
give me a break. I, I mean, I, yeah, well, hey, let's stop the politics. Otherwise, I'm going to be banned forever. <laughs> well, me too. That's right. Yeah. Sorry. No, that's okay, pal. We'll have you on again. Thanks for calling in, Steve. And I think we're, I think Thank there's you. pretty good support here at 88 bucks. If we go below 88, the next support that I can see is down at 84. But, uh, you know, follow the news because when you see really bullish things and the market doesn't react very much, that's telling you that people that are in the crude oil business, they're not afraid to sell it. So that's why you got to pay attention. Yes, sir. Okay. You have a good one. You bet. Okay, folks, we're going to switch over right now to the old NASDAQ for our good friend Peter up in Park City. This is the daily chart, and I believe this is what Peter is looking at here, is a 135 pattern forming right here. There's your 1 right there, and then you come up, and there's your 3 right there. And there is the second one right here, and it's at 14,112. That means it's down another 600 points. Which, if we go below, go below this point today, folks, uh, Peter, you're going to be right because that's where that puppy is going to go. Now, what we need to do is we need to switch over for just a second, and we want to look at this on the weekly too because we want to see where we are. Okay, here's where we are. Now, this is the December contract, so uh, it doesn't have all the stuff in it that the other ones did, but this is all we need. Here's what we'll be watching from your low we made in January of 1920 uh, or 2022 there's where excuse me 2023 it was actually made uh christmas folks uh, new year's day tw the 20 the 30th was the low there look at this folks we've got a nice market coming down right here and peter pay attention to this one right here because we could easily do this and this would be the the, the 135 pattern there's one right there there's three right there and there's five right here. There's one, three, five coming in here at 14,300. The ABCD on this big move that we just did, let's just bring it up to see it here. Keep these cards and letters coming in. There's your A leg here, B leg, C leg, D leg. See, there it is right there. We're, there's where we're going, 14,300. That's only 400 points more. You know, that's a couple of bombs over Israel, I guess, but I don't know. I don't, I'm watching it. There's nothing bearish about this stock market, folks. Doc Garnett's making a correction, for God's sake. Look what happened here. We had this big correction. It did, nobody screamed about that one. So that's it. The key, the key is if we close below this S&P, well, let's do it with the NASDAQ. Get the NASDAQ up on the hourly. See what we've done so far. There's what we've done here. Look, look at the rallies. Let, let's see what the, look, see what our rally's been. All right. The last rally, of course, we, we know this was a 382. There was your ABCD 382 rally right here off of this one right here. That was yesterday. Right there. And then boom, down you came. And so far, this is, your, this is the one you want to watch. From your high right down here to your low right here. Watch this number right here, 14,846. If we can close above that, that's what you want to be looking for. But the main thing is, is if you just get up here and then go below this, be careful. If you go below this level right here to, uh, today, Peter, which is 14,675, that's about 100 handles from where we are right now. This is going to be very, very nasty. I mean, we know that it's going to go. Well, we don't know, but we're guessing that it's going to go to this uh, magical level here of uh, 14,300. And I just heard someone ring the bell. It's round six. Let's see what's going on over here. And we got John from Philly on the line. Mr. C, Mr. Z, what are you doing, buddy? How's it going? Larry, I'm doing very well. And uh, like everybody has said, we are all uh, pleased to uh, hear your, uh, your health is improving. So, um, uh, uh, we wish you well, and uh, I do want to thank you personally just for opening the show, Larry, with those couple of historical charts uh, that you did for the stock market going back in time. Uh, Larry, I just wanted to uh, uh, compliment that uh, idea with a, uh, uh, a chart that I just posted uh, in, uh, excuse me, in the Tiger's Den, and what I observe is like that past historical episode that you spoke so uh, spoke uh -oh. of. Oops. No, no, stay with us. we got two more minutes. Stay with us. We'll pay a bill and we'll fi finish up. Okay, we've got three minutes to go. Thank you.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. We're back, folks. Uh, we're with Mr. Z, Mr. Z from Philly. Uh, John, you were talking about the S&P. Please continue, buddy. Yes, yeah, so I just posted that NASDAQ daily chart in the Tiger's Den. Uh, be very uh, succinct uh, and brief on this, Larry. Um, dovetailing with what you showed at the top of the show, I observe two things. The uh, NASDAQ 100 uh, made a peak September 1st. Yes, it was a lower high, but it defined a peak. And we're declining uh, as we are. And, of course, interestingly enough, Dan Harley has targeted November 1st as a cycle low. September 1st to November 1st, that, uh, that is the rhyme of 2023, possibly with one of those historical charts you showed. So I thank you for showing those, uh, those charts. That got me thinking quickly. Hope this helps. It helps a lot, John. You do great work there at TFNN showing the things you do each day. I think it's terrific. But listen, thank you for calling in, and you know we really appreciate all the work you do. So uh, we'll be watching November 1st. We got that big lunar eclipse coming on the uh, 28th, so that Monday is going to be wild and woolly. So uh, it should be a lot of fun. God bless, Larry. Have a good weekend. Okay. You bet, folks. All right, folks, uh, that's it uh, for the uh, week. Uh, hopefully, uh, everybody's been using stops on all their longs and stops on all their shorts, because if you don't, you're telling the market that 
You know more than she does in boys and girls. I can promise you that with 100%. You don't. So make sure you protect yourself. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. Thanks, folks. I love you all. And so live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. Uh-oh, I hope I spilled it. how much time. Oh, no, I was okay. We're under, we're under okay. Okay.